Something OS X doesn't come with is a drawing program. Um, it comes with an iPhoto which lets you edit photos to a certain extent, but it doesn't come with anything similar to Paint, what you get on Windows. I think it should. And I know Paint is a poor program, but it, it doesn't come with anything that that's anything like that at all. So that's something OS X lacks. And I've been looking for a good program to fill that gap for a year now, ever since I got my Mac. And I've just found, if I open it before I start talking about it, an app called Scribble. Or Scribbles, I should say. <laughs> I'll actually just change the topic there. So Scribbles is a drawing program. I'm not sure what the exact term would be, I'm just calling it a drawing program. It's very, very simple, like extremely simple. Trust me, it is. So it's free. Um, it, it asks you to pay for it, but I think you can just use it for free for as long as you want anyway. All it says is unregistered by now at the top. Not sure if it actually puts any kind of watermark on something, that on a picture you've drawn. I'll find out right now, in fact. Right, while that's opening... N no, it, it doesn't appear to do anything to the file. So, like I said, it's really, really simple, but powerful. What you get is a blank canvas to start with, just like a white page. And along the bottom you have two buttons, a slider, and then another button. And at the top you have, in the corner, four buttons. What these do, the first one lets you select a, t a type of brush. And there's, l there's loads of different kinds, from just a solid stroke to a rainbow effect, to like a paint... 3D kind of effect. There's um, like a spray paint one, similar to the one you get with paint. The next button lets you select the colour and it brings up a colour wheel um, that lets you select any colour you want and then set the like brightness of that colour, so from white to black. So any colour you want there. The next one is the width of the stroke and that lets you go from really thin to really really thick. And the last one, which I was surprised at, you click that and then your current layer flip sort of goes down and you see a 3D view. It's kind of like the flip 3D thing on Vista. And you can add multiple layers. It supports layers. This free, really, really simple program supports multiple layers. Um, so... I'm not sure how many it lets you add. I can't find a limit there. Then you can scroll through them. And and on this page, again, this has only got three buttons. Your pile of layers. It's like a stack of them that you can scroll through in 3D, in a 3D kind of view. It, it, it's just such a simple layout, it's unbelievable. And But at the top, you can select the, the transparency for a particular layer. So you can make it more transparent, more opaque. So, so that that's a really nice feature. Then along the top you can choose either a, the actual brush, you can move around, you can set the size of different layers, you can zoom in and out, so if you draw one layer then you want to make it a bit smaller, you could do that and then you could move it. And it, that, that's it. That's all it does. But for a drawing program, it's very powerful and unbelievably simple. Trust me. Download it. Scribbles. That's what it's called. <laughs> I'll find the website where you can get it from. It's from 8bits.com. A-T-E-B-I-T-S dot com. If you go there, I haven't actually done much research on this. Go there. They have three applications. Scribbles, Tweety, for Mac and Tweety for the iPhone. Click on Scribbles and it got a bit of information about it there, some screencasts, um, d which just demonstrates how s how good this program is. I, I just can't believe how s the layout of it, the user interface, I can't believe how clean 
simple it is it, it just looks so nice yet it's so powerful so th this might become my primary drawing tool if I need to draw a quick um, picture of some kind whatever it might be then I will use scribbles until I find something better because it what, what it doesn't have as far as I can tell is like shapes that you can add and you can't sel seem to select bits like have a select tool and then move that particular bit like you can in paint I I'm comparing this to paint because that's sort of what OS X doesn't have what this could be for you like if you've switched from Windows and you miss that program you could use this so it doesn't have all the tools that and features that paint has but it has extra ones like layers and it's a lot easier to use looks a lot nicer so check it out scribbles from um i believe you pronounce that 8bits.com like not the you don't spell it like 8 the number 8 or the word 8 as in the number it's a t e b i t s dot com click on scribbles download it see what you think so th that that's what i've been looking for really it would be nice if it had a few more features but it's it's free you you can buy it for twenty dollars but you can download it for free as well so you can't really lose there so if you know of another one that's possibly more powerful has more features i really want to know about it because i really want a good image creation program or app for os 10 so if you know, you know of one, even if it's for Windows, I can still pass it on to the community because I know loads of you actually use Windows and don't use a Mac like I do. So let me know. My email address is info at jackie.com. I also have a website with a live stream, my blog, and a live chat 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. you find that and more at jackie.com. Thanks for watching.